What's up crew? It's Chris with Clover Tack and welcome back to the channel. We're out on the range today, so please bear with any distractions. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new Rock Island Armory All Generations 12 gauge pump shotgun, otherwise known as the AG-12. Before we get started, just want to say welcome to those new viewers to the channel. And here on CloverTech, we talk about all things firearms. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button below. And while you're there, if you want to keep up with new content, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. Now before we get to the live fire and the pattern testing, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the specs on the shotgun. This particular one is a 12 gauge, has a three inch chamber, obviously is pump action tube magazine and with three inch shells going to hold five plus one this particular model again going to have the 28 inch vent ribbed barrel with the bead sight going to come with a set of removable chokes you'll get a full choke a modified choke and a cylinder bore choke so the stock and four end on this shotgun are synthetic the butt stock is going to have the adjustable comb adjustable length of pull and also you've got sling swivels built in. As far as overall dimensions of this shotgun go, we're looking at just under 49 inches maximum overall length, and the weight comes in at eight and a half pounds, though this certainly doesn't feel like it. It feels fairly light. It's got a series of targets from Outdoor Products Plus posted downrange, five targets in total. We're gonna use three of these to pattern the bird shot. We're gonna use one for slugs and one for buckshot. So I've got some number seven and a half Fiocchi ammunition. It's gonna be a high velocity, high brass ammunition. What we're gonna do with those three targets, I've got one marked top. We're gonna to put the bead at the top of the target. Got one marked center. We're gonna put the bead at the center of the target. And we got one marked bottom. And yeah, you guessed it. We're gonna put the bead at the bottom of that target. And then we're gonna go down range, take a look at those patterns and see how well this shotgun is doing. Now, it's important to note that I do have the full choke in this shotgun. Remember, it does come with a cylinder modified and full. Gonna be running the full choke for this particular test. It's important to note here as well that we're gonna be doing this testing at a distance of 25 yards. As always, safety first when we're out on the range. Got my eyes on, gonna put my ears in, and we'll get started. So before we go down range, I got a question of the day for you. Jump down in the comments below and let me know when you're patterning your shotguns, what distance do you use? So here we are down range taking a look at the targets. We look at the target on the left here. That's where I had the bead at the top of the target. We can see this definitely patterning a little bit low, maybe a little bit left, but that's most likely me. Again, first time that I've shot this shotgun. We look at the center target, that kind of confirms that the first one was probably me because I was holding center while it was a little bit low. It's certainly not left. If we look at the last target where I was holding the bead at the bottom, then very little shot hit that paper, which again tells us that at least with the full choke, this shotgun likes to pattern a bit low. So now that the birdshot pattern testing is out of the way, let's move on. Let's load up some buckshot. Let's load up some slugs and let's keep going. As far as the ammunition we're going to use for the slugs and the buckshot, got two targets, of course, again, down range. One of them is marked for buckshot. That one we're going to take a shot with some Winchester double aught buck nine pellet. Then we're going to move on to the slugs. Got a target marked for the slugs as well. We're going to be using some one ounce Winchester slugs for that one. Going to fire three at that target. Once we're done with those four shots, we'll go down range again. Take a look at how we did. So before we move on to the slugs, I'm gonna change out the choke from the full choke to the cylinder in this shotgun. And the reason is while the full choke is fine for that birdshot and buckshot, 
I just do not like shooting uh, slugs through a full choke. Some of them you can, the manufacturer says you can and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I like to err on the side of safety and I don't like to do that. So here we are down range taking a look at the targets. The one on your left is going to be the buckshot, one on the right, the slugs. I think that's pretty clear to see. Now with the buckshot, I was kind of holding just maybe a little bit high. So that pattern's a little low. The interesting thing is we've got six out of nine pellets on the paper. That's pretty good. Uh, the three that are not on the paper are to the left off the paper. A uh, little low, nice horizontal line. It's kind of weird. They didn't spread out uh, much. As far as vertically, they spread out horizontally, which is interesting. Now, the slugs, the first shot was really low. I was kind of aiming uh, center on that instead of a little bit high on the target. But you'll notice my two follow-up shots right there close together with the slugs. So, uh, with that cylinder choke changeover, the slugs shot fairly well out of this particular shotgun. So, there you go, crew. A first look at the all generations or... AG-12 pump shotgun from our friends at Rock Island Armory. Remember, if you have any questions or just want to continue the conversation, you can do that down in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Till next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.